Hello and welcome to the Quibber Channel. I am Jason, your host. Well, we've just dealt with all the bits and pieces. My mum's death is registered completely. I've got the death certificates. I was also able to call the um, place that's going to deal with my mum's funeral and cremation. That's all done. Um, I paid for all of that. That's all out of the wall done. So I'm now on my way home. It's funny, the, pers the registrar we saw was the person who actually signed my mum's wedding certificate copy in 2009 when she needed that for as identification. And that was very early in my mum's um, That will have been when she was setting up the power of attorney and everything. So she could be looked after when the dementia got by. So yeah. Talking that the person, the registrar, had only been on the job like six months at that point in time. And so she remembered the kind of strange so we are going home we'll probably go through the park have a little decompress and chat like I said earlier while I'm on the so while I'm on this the quingo my legs don't hurt at all the kitchen chair is not a brilliant chair and therefore I do get a little bit of a pain in my legs when I'm using that but, yeah. So it it all depends on the comfort and how the posture is on the chair that's going to affect things. But let's see if we can um, if they've done anything different here to make it harder for me to get through. We will see because this is like we we're going down in between the. Areas and coming. Oh, well, that barrier there isn't a good placement of a barrier, but I can get around that easily enough. They're all just on the edge of it. So, yeah, so for my mum's funeral, I went with a place called Farewell. Quite well recommended, and it's all done now. So the ashes will be delivered back to me at the house and then I can organise an actual place wait for us all to have a place um, a couple of people who knew my mum come round and just talk about my mum I'm not going to cross over until they basically say, there we are, we've got the OK to go across here. I don't know how many cars... The, this car park stuff and that is really a well... There's a lot of traffic jam around here at the moment because they're doing a lot of work I think this work's supposed to go on for many many months maybe even to next year with all the stuff that's being done and you're redoing the road works and everything and bits and pieces so I can now go I went to seven I've got to contact the solicitor today because well, that's got to be done. Solicitor. And sort out, see what I'm going to do about the actual cost of um, a probate and all that. And work out all that, because that's going to be the biggie. We need to sort that out. And now I've got the death certificates and everything, the official document. I can start that. 
process. Probate grant. See, the thing is, I didn't know about this back then. Um, if my mum had known about um, why the way probate works and all that, she would have probably set up um, a different kind of thing so that I wouldn't have to go through all this hassle. But yeah, we are okay. I have to say this, ever since this, the service that this vehicle had yesterday, it is so much smoother. Even though it was pretty smooth before. Okay, let's cross here. Huh. Let's turn that on, turn this on, turn the power up to my... Let's just wait for this vehicle to go past. And then we're going to take a ride up here. Oopsie doopsie doo. I'll let you go past you see. I am going to get the rear camera put on this, it'll be so much... So much safer for me to be able to see without you. These mirrors are good, but yeah, yeah. having a, a proper digital camera that's set up for you means I'll be able to... get it all done. I'm also going to have the heated grips. Anyone going this way? That way? No, no one behind me. Go up into the park, oh yeah. We will turn off the super speed, turn off that, and turn it down to normal speed because we're going to just have a leisurely wander around the park. We have just hit 300 miles on the odometer. Um, That means that I've done 230 odd miles, 230 miles on this vehicle in under a month. And this will be...
They say to service it every 1,200 miles. Dooby dooby doo. Oh. I've still got phone calls to make. Funny thing is, it was actually easier to make a phone call while sitting on this than it was is at home. It actually, um, because this is my mobile safe space, I was able to deal with those things. And so, these are the three messages with logs that will go out today from my little journey out. I'll let my sister know about the that everything sorted. I will. I'm going to find out. I'm going to call my solicitor and find out the price and cost. Now I've got the bits and pieces I needed, the death certificate and that before I can do all the probate stuff. That was the thing that was holding me back. So, I'm feeling very relaxed actually, amazingly. I'm always amazed that I am so relaxed now when dealing with all this kind of thing because this mobility scooter thing. So once everything's sorted, once then no one's going to message me, oh, give me a sec, I just need to check something because I know I'm going to get a delivery today or tomorrow. And it's uh, my Huel's got to be delivered. Now, normally I don't have to check whether did, when delivery's coming because I don't leave the house. So why would I need to, to check? Okay. So they've received it. It's probably going to be delivered tomorrow. That's okay. I will be in tomorrow. I've got to send a few things off. I've got to... There was an error with the actual registration document for this vehicle. So that's going to be sent back to the people who I bought it off and they're going to redo it for me. I've got to get that posted out, I'll send that tomorrow. And so on. Uh, I will make myself something to eat when I get home. I'm trying to eat very much a lot better than I was while looking after my mum in hospital. I mean, people, I don't think people realise just how exhausting and gr how much of a grind it is to look after someone who's terminally ill. Oh. See, all of this road work and that is being done at the moment. Could be months and months before all this is done. Oh, so they, that's, that's what we're doing. Let's see. So here is a... So what are they doing here? Um, they're doing a new road system and everything. Expected autumn 2025, so next year. Okay, so all of this is being redone, yeah? Yep, so that's why we've got all this work going on in here. Oh, I need to buy myself at one point in time a one of those little automatic tyre um, boosters. Well, inflators, because he, even though it's got liquid in now, that liquid in is only partially there. It's only there to cover, to help seal. 
it still needs to be up to 35 psi or, or every single tire on this goes up to 35 psi so you get the ones that you set 35 psi on and then it'll just do it so he says I should test it once a week or once every two weeks so which is fine I am happy alive and here I mean it said it wasn't going to rain today but it looks like it's going to rain it feels like it's going to rain but the UK is like issuey I'll have to check because I put washing out this morning at 5am yeah I put washing out at 5am oh looks like the, the water's on they must have fixed whatever was causing it not to have the water on I love the water I love this fountain this fountain is amazing Whee. <sighs> beep beep I'm eating a lot of spinach at the moment I really like fresh spinach unfortunately well actually no 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 oh my god Jason I need to bash my head I need to hit my head with a floof hammer or something I just see I was going to say Oh, I love the idea of having spinach in the house because I bought some when I ordered a shop in. But it's hard to keep fresh vegetables. And then I realised, um, anytime I want, I can travel to my local supermarket and buy some fresh spinach. I'm no longer limited. I'm still trying to alter my um, perception at that because it's I'm so used to thinking of everything's got to be done online I'm also going to be tweaking and working on the house assistant AI and trying to set it up so it can remote access so we can use it from here so I will say bye bye for now you wonderful splendiferous people <laughs>